everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this week's video we're talking how to style the midi dress for winter and early spring. I hope everyone's had a lovely week so far. If you're new here my name is Alana Hope and I'm a fashion stylist and image consultant based here in Sydney, Australia. I absolutely love midi dresses because I find them to be really good kind of transferable seasonal pieces. I find you can often wear them throughout the year if you pick the right type of style. In today's video I wanted to talk about how to style the midi dress for winter and for early spring. So when it's still a little bit cold and you still need a jacket, uh, but it hasn't quite gone into the full swing of spring weather yet. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you six looks. So I'm gonna be looking at three dresses that I own in my wardrobe and styling each dress into a winter look and then into an early spring look. And then I've also gone and put together some questions that I get asked quite a bit from clients and questions I've heard over time about mini dresses and I've answered those right at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. So let's jump into the first look. So for this first look, I wore my printed button up snake print midi dress that I got from Country Road. I paired it with a brown leather waist belt to match in some brown suede over the knee boots. And then I put a light colored cream long coat on over the top. And I liked playing with these colors. I found the brown contrasted nicely with the blue and the cream just picked up the cream that was in the dress. Now to make this look more suitable for early spring, what I've done is I've swapped out my boots for a nice deep tan shoe. And I chose this shoe because it shows up a bit more of my foot and doesn't cover it up too much. And then I matched in a woven leather belt. I rolled up the sleeves on this dress just to give it a little bit more shape and show off a little bit more skin. This dress could also pair really well with something like a denim jacket. You could wear a nice tan bag with this one too. I just really liked this look together because it was simple, a brown pair of shoes and a brown belt was something easy for me to find in my wardrobe. And if you have a pairing like that in your wardrobe, try wearing that with your midi dress to dress it down a little bit. So for this next look, I wore my three quarter sleeve V-neck deep magenta midi dress with a brown pair of suede over the knee boots. I then paired it with a nice dark navy wool blazer and then I've matched in my blazer with my handbag. So to make this dress more suitable for spring, I just swapped out that wool blazer for a linen one. And then instead of having that thicker, bigger boot on, I swapped it for a gold strappy metallic sandal with a little bit of a heel. And I absolutely love these shoes. These shoes are from The Good Shoe Shop. I'm not sure if they're still available, but if they are, I'll link them below. If not, I'll find a similar pair for you guys to check out. So for this next look, I put on the leopard print dress with a big hot pink swing coat. You guys have seen last week's video where I did statement coat styling and I styled in this pink coat. So here's another way you can wear a bold pink coat. I also added in a pair of over the knee black boots. I like this outfit a lot because it was really bold and I love getting dressed up. Part of my job is getting dressed up. Well, a big part of my job is getting dressed up actually. So I'm not afraid of putting bold colors with bold prints. If you are feeling a little bit apprehensive about it, you can do a bold color and a bold print and just try and dress it down with some other pieces. Could be that instead of doing a bold coat, you might do a bold colored handbag instead. And then to make this look more suitable for spring, I took off the coat, I pushed up the sleeves to three quarter, and then I added a red slingback shoe and a red crossbody bag. And this was just a simple way to wear this dress out. I find dresses like these, particularly when you buy printed midi dresses, they can be really easy to dress up and dress down. So 
So now let's talk through some shoe options for midi dresses. So I get asked a lot what types of shoes are best for a midi dress and that does depend on the person but there are a few universal types that'll work on anyone with any leg shape. So what I would recommend first is either a nude shoe or a shoe that shows off a lot of your foot. So this could be a strappy sandal with a bit of a heel on it. It doesn't have to be nude but I do find nude because it blends in with your leg will make your leg look longer. When winter comes around and you can't do a strappy shoe because your toes will freeze, what you can choose instead is a high, whether it's a knee high or a thigh high boot. If you can't find ones that fit your calves, and I'm in that category as well, I have quite thick calves and it takes me a while to find a good high boot that I can wear. What you can do instead is wear a full length pair of stockings with a matching pair of shoes. So that's stockings and you can get a very similar look. I also get asked regularly if you can wear midi length dresses if you are petite or if you are short uh, and you absolutely can. If you were to jump on Google or jump on Pinterest and search for some of the more petite celebrities out there, you will see often they are wearing these types of pieces. The trick is making sure they're ending in a nice spot on you. You don't just buy them off the rack, particularly if they're not already petite sized. You want to make sure that you've adjusted those hems, you've adjusted the sleeves. Petite dressing very much relies on a little bit of alteration and as frustrating as that can be, it's totally worth it once you've gotten it done. When you're getting a midi dress, you might find that going for just a little bit above mid calf on you is going to be the most flattering length if you're petite. The last question I get asked a bit is what jacket can you wear with a midi dress? So I think as long as you are showing off your waist somehow, most jackets are going to work. So you can go for a denim jacket or a leather jacket. Maybe you can put a belt on underneath so that you highlight your waist a bit more. I love the idea of wearing a big cardigan with a belt over the top or sometimes even just swapping out the belt if you have a trench coat and change it to a leather belt and that'll highlight your waist even more when you wear a midi dress. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to learn more about styling these types of pieces and you are a petite person and you have trouble with a few other pieces as well, I'm going to leave a 20 page sample of my book down below. My book has included in it a lot of fit guides and information for petite people who are trying to find a style that works for them. I'll leave a sample of that down below for you guys. And if you like this video, please remember to like it, click subscribe and let me know in the comments if you have any future video ideas for me. I love reading your comments and new subscribers make my day. I look forward to seeing you guys next week with another video.